Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and happy Loom Knit Day. Today we are going to be going over the Faro Rib Stitch and it's very simple. It is just literally how you work your knit and purl stitches. So let me go ahead and bring you down and let's get started. And as always, you're going to need your yarn, your loom, your hook, something to keep track of your rows, a pair of scissors, and your darning needle. So as I stated, it is simply a matter of doing your knit and purl stitches. And for row one, you're going to do two purls, one knit, and row two, you're gonna do two knits, one purl. So as you, as you know, I've already started and I'm almost to the end of my uh, square. So we're gonna do our two purl One, two, and one knit. And that is, and that is it all the way across. Let me show you that again. I think I was out of frame. <laughs> Sorry about that. So it's your two purl. And one knit or second pearl. There we go. Let me get my my head screwed on straight. And one knit. I think I'm gonna move this table and see if I can film it a little bit easier. One second. All right. So hopefully this is easier for you to see. And let me double check where I am. So this was a pearl, pearl, knit, pearl, pearl, knit. There we go. So now we're into our uh, third pearl, pearl, knit. And I will say I... As I was doing this, I accidentally switched things around and we will see that when I'm done, but I was like, it's too late. I've already gotten almost all the way done, so I didn't want to fix it and it's just for me, so it doesn't matter, but I'm just showing you the, the stitch itself, so pearl. Pearl, knit. Alrighty, I'm gonna let you just enjoy some music. Alright, so since I am not doing an odd, I'm doing the whole um, loom, it's having me end with two pearls, and you know what? It's fine. Like I said, this is for me. I'm not worried about it. You might want to, um, instead of doing all the pegs, stop at the second to last peg, and then you'll have a, a true pearl pearl knit pearl pearl knit all the way to the end but because I am doing all of them I end up with two pearls here so just keep that in mind like I said I don't think it's going to make a difference you're not going I'm not going to care because it's for me so that's just how it it worked out obviously since it's a three stitch uh stitch 
you need to have an odd number of pegs. And if you are continuing in the round where I am doing flat, you would then just switch over. And actually, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because if you do, it's an even number. So maybe you would just end with that one being not a complete section. But anyways, this is where I'm at. So now we are going to go back since I am doing it in the flat. And we're going to start the second row, which is knit, knit, purl. So knit. knit, purl. And you're going to continue to do that all the way across until you get back to the other end. So knit, knit, purl. And I will link the video to that I learned this from and me, I'm she did it in the flat also, but I think she explains how to do it in the round better. I just don't remember. So, anyways, let's get back to knit, knit, purl. So we're on our purl. Knit. Oops. Knit. Pearl. And I will keep going until the end. So I just realized that I forgot to mark my rows. So I just did two complete rows. I have two more to go and then the bind off. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, or 7, 38. I finished. <laughs> I was, I thought I had left myself four when I actually only left myself two. So when you go back, you're going to do pearl, pearl, knit, pearl, pearl, knit, and follow that all the way around. And then going, doing the next row, knit, knit, pearl, knit, knit, pearl, all the way until you want to stop. And like I said, I am doing 38 rows. Well, I didn't say it this time, but from my beginning, my first video in this series, I'm doing 38 rows and then my cast on and bind off will count as rows. So I have a total of 40, but actual 38 working rows and that creates my square. So I'm going to go ahead and do my bind off and then I will be back and we'll take a look and see my mistakes, but also see what the Faro rib stitch looks like. All right, so it is now off the loom and all, all ready. Uh, I could definitely tell I made more than just a few mistakes, but that's okay. I am getting better at my bind off. It's nice and stretchy. I left the cast on as is because we are going to be stitching it together with other squares. So I really don't think it's going to matter as far as tightness goes, but I did leave it to the, the way it was before I stretched it out because we haven't stretched out the um, the fabric. So now we're going to actually see how it looks because the last few times I stretched it out before and I really didn't mean to. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and stretch and see how this is looking. And it is another rib stitch, so it's going to have the, um, it's 
the rib. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just kind of forgot what I was doing. But anyway, so um, here we are. I do need to probably, I, well, I know I need to. I need to block it so that it's a much nicer square. I haven't done that with my other squares yet. I need to determine exactly what size I want them to be. But there you go. Uh, it looks relatively the same on both sides. Let me try and get better light there. Whoops. There. It looks very much the same on both sides. I really do like it. And it is very stretchy. I mean, you can just stretch it out. But you can definitely see my mistakes. But, you know, like I said, this is just for me. It doesn't matter. Obviously, you want to pay attention a little bit more if it's going to be for somebody else. Um, but I hope that even though I only did two uh, rows, you understood. So let me bring you up and we will talk it out. All right, guys. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the Faro rib stitch, and I hope you understood. It's pearl, pearl knit, first row, knit, knit, pearl, second row, and as many as you want to do for as wide as you want to do it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button and leave me a comment. What stitch should I try to do next? <laughs> There's a lot out there. I just... There's actually a, a few things that I do want to learn, and I haven't done that yet, and it's uh, something about front. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look it up. But anyways, um, yeah, leave me, leave me a comment. What stitch do you want to learn next? And if you liked today's video, as I already stated, hit that like button. And... If you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click that notif notification bell. My goodness. But anyways, my mind is running away. So with that, remember, gravity works, guys.